Hey, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> Hi, Hans, and welcome to Queer Epiphany. Mm -hmm. Today's guest is world renowned makeup artist, mm -hmm. business owner, uh -huh. YouTuber, yeah -huh. trailblazer. That's right, it's the gorgeous, the spectacular Nikki Tutorial. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Cheers, Barbie. Oh. So, Nikki, tell us, what's your queer epiphany? My queer epiphany was Kelly from the Dutch Big Brother, the first ever trans contestant on Big Brother for us. She went into the house and people didn't know, people couldn't tell, uh -huh. and then she sort of got this fling with this hot guy, and then as it got steamy at night, she was like, I gotta tell you some. It was the first moment where Someone like me mm. made it to television. Mm -hmm. And you're around seven. Yeah, I was young. Time. Spring chicken. Yeah. <laughs> yes. How did seeing Kelly make you feel when you were seven years old? Mm. Well, to me, it, it almost felt like we were like a secret of society. Like Taboo. We, exactly, taboo. Mm. And when she was in that Big Brother house, I was like, oh, you are allowed to be seen. You are allowed to be on television. And I remember just feeling so understood. I love that this is like the first person that introduces us mm. to this community, but I also always kept in mind that my path probably would be a, a tiny bit different. How were you when you were seven? Like, what was Nikki Tutorials like? I grew up very insecure. I got bullied a lot. In my life, I always try to become like, not like the jokester, but like kind of the jokester. Yeah. Because if they can laugh it's with me, mm -hmm. it's not laughing at you me. You get the first, the last laugh. Exactly. So I struggled with that for years and years. But when I was at home, when I was in my room, I was every pop diva you could ever think oh, of. <laughs> Who was your pop diva? Mm. Well, of course it was Britney. Oh, Britney was course. everything. Of course. But, you know, I love myself some Christina. Oh. And when oh, she wow. had the, the dirty music video. For the yes. chaps. She didn't have the chaps. I remember having these like very loose, like old like pajama bottoms. No. <laughs> and no. I cut the pajama chaps. Oh my God. The chaps. The chaps. The chaps. The chaps. And I was feeling my fantasy now. I was like dancing in my room. And oh my God. One, one day my mom walked in and she was doing laundry. She's like, what the hell happened to this? <laughs> she she's was like, shaking a little something. She's like, Nikki, what did you do to these? I'm like, Christina Angular. <laughs> Christina made me do it. And she's like, there's nothing left. I'm like, that was the point. That's the whole damn point, baby. <laughs> I think that you should like make merch of the chaps. The chaps. Nikki the chaps. tutorials, the chaps. chaps. Wes, write this down. <laughs> I knew I was queer as hell watching that video it when I was revolution. young. It was hot. It was so Sweaty, hot. Sizzling, oh. moist. That, yeah, I also remember just because, you know, I had short hair when I was younger and I was living for the inches and I never got them. So like a towel would be like my. <laughs> I <laughs> yes. love that. Or like I would flip a t-shirt on my head and be like, oh my God, all this length. <laughs> <laughs> what I always wanted to do was kind of like create my own journey. I wanted to be known for my passion and my passion has always been makeup. And I didn't want it to be like, oh, this is Nikki, transgender Nikki right. doing makeup. I wanted it to be about what I Just do, not what I yeah. am. Exactly. And the art. Exactly. And for years I was able to do that. And then I came out. <laughs> you might have seen it. Yeah. Yes, of course. <laughs> but I'm still very proud of the fact that that people nowadays also still recognize me by my art mm -hmm. and not just for who I am. When did you start like start on YouTube, doing all your videos? Oh gosh, I was started when I was 14 years old and of course nobody knew what like my true journey and like my true truth was almost. Mm -hmm. But I just started doing it because I, I loved makeup. I was watching The Hills on MTV. Come on, man. <laughs> and I, I saw Lauren Conrad with the winged eyeliner and mm -hmm. I was like, <gasps> You can't look like that. Well, I gotta get me some of that. Uh, exactly, mm -hmm. especially because I was, like I was trans, not anymore. Because I was trans, I was like, oh my God, I wanna look so feminine and gorgeous all the time. So I, I took my bike, I went to the nearest drugstore, got myself some makeup, locked myself up in the bathroom. Yeah. My mom would be like, what are you doing in there? I'm like <laughs> smearing away my eyeliner and just living for it. And then um, I stole my mom's little digital camera. Yes. Uh -huh. I locked myself up in my room. Yes. Uh -huh. I filmed my first video ever, it's still up. So I got seven views and like three comments. Shout out I to was, those seven people. Yes. But I just remember thinking, oh my God, that's more people than 
in this house. Yeah. And it just gave me such a natural like high and natural kick and I was like, I wanna do this every day for the rest of my life. And that just progressed and it became bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. and, and then I came out. <laughs> So your mum is obviously seeing in your room, making all these videos, you're getting your confidence. Do you think you got any of that confidence from her? Or was it more like, I'm here, I'm doing what I want. Maybe you gave her confidence. I think that? a little bit of both because Mama Tutorials had the most supportive mom you could dream of. Like Amazing. she has always been by my side. Shout out to supportive moms. Yes, I love you mom. And, what, and what's for me is I don't have the best relationship with my dad. I always felt misunderstood by him. Right. He just never really got what I was. Yeah. Plus, his side of the family definitely didn't want to get what I was. Right. They anyway, were like, They oh. wouldn't buy what you were selling. At one point, they blamed my mom for talking it into my head. It's ridiculous. Yeah, ridiculous. When I was like, okay, these people are not good for me. Mm -hmm. They're not good for my mental health. Mm -hmm. So I cut them off. You need to go where you love. Yeah, exactly. But throughout everything, Mama Tutorials was there. Yes. She, she defended me. Mm -hmm. She took me to the right doctor. She took me on the right path. And everything that mom did was for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Incredible. That's what we need. Some Parents supporting up. trans kids. Even in the face of adversity. Oh, my mom was super, super supportive. A funny memory for me is when Beyonce came out with If I Were a Boy. Mm. My mom started crying. She goes, Nikki, they made a song for you. <laughs> she goes, if I were a boy, it's about transgenders. And I'm like, oh. Mom, that was not what it was Bless about. Her. But she tried, though. She tried, she tried so hard. I love a trier. <laughs> It's time for our quick fire round, or as we like to call it, our quick fire round. That's right, baby. You're throwing a party for the iconic Kelly, and you've got 30 seconds, so you better make it snappy. Go! Okay. Venue. The, um, a hot air balloon. Dress code. Dare to diamond. Ooh. Entertainment. Entertainment? Entertainment. Performer. Oh, Adele. <gasps> Makeup look. The, uh, Rainbow Riot. While we drinking. Porn star martinis. I'm feeling hungry. What about a canapé? Uh, the who? A canapé and a moose bouche. A, a bitter ball. What are we <laughs> dipping it in? Chate sauce. What time will it start? At eight. And what time will it end? In 15. Oh. Secret password to get in. A trans is beautiful. Oh. Ah, that's it, time's up enough. Did I just die? Maybe. Wow, sounds like a very quirky outgoing party. I mean, bitter ball, I want a bit of that. What is that anyway? Um, it's like a, um, oh you got, oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> um, help me out. A fried ball with meat. Oh, can't, but I love a crusty yeah, meat we ball. love balls. As amazing as that party sounds. You um, won't be attending. <laughs> <laughs> Go. Um, wait, are you gonna ask me stuff? Historically, reality TV has kind of been dismissed as quite trashy. Even though, like, sometimes the situations may be curated, mm -hmm. yes. it's important to see real people just being a bit messy, yeah. getting things wrong. Yep. How do you think we can improve rep that kind of representation for trans people? I think the fact that we are so seen nowadays is exactly what needs to be happening. Yeah. What I loved about the Barbie movie is that there was a trans actress in it, mm -hmm. but like nowhere was it like promoted like, oh, there's a trans actress in right. here. That's what we need. We are everywhere, yeah. but we don't need like that specific label every time. In the Netherlands, we just had a new season of X on the Beach. Uh -huh. And there was a trans girl on it, and it was the first time we ever had a trans girl on it. And I was like, yes, girl, get it. And she was getting messy and everything. I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we deserve to get yeah. messy. We need yeah. to get messy. Yeah. I hate it when, when, when queer people are on a show and we have to be like the, the great example, which is good, but like we deserve Sometimes to get messy too. Sometimes you just want to get too. fast wild and live yeah. your best life. Exactly. We actually had a trans contestant on our big brother, didn't we, called Nadia. Oh, yeah. And she is iconic. Oh, have you heard of her? No. She was definitely one of my queer epiphanies, because yeah. up until that point, I'd only really seen negative representation of trans people on TV. Right. Mm. We had a show called There's Something About Miriam, yes. oh, which was terrible. So what I think it, it is? It was really, it was quite, it was quite explosive. Like, even even explosive. in the title, There's Something About Miriam, it's Basically, like, no. Basically, these guys no, no, were no, no, no. competing for this woman's affections, mm. not knowing that she's trans, and then they found out at the end that she's trans. Make the whole thing. It, yeah, and I gotcha, and then they sued the producers. Nadia was 
fabulous, mm -hmm. fierce. It's about seeing exactly just like people and living their multiple truth. multiple flavors of these yeah. people, not just the one. Oh my God, this is how you should. Everyone should be. I am honored that I get to be an example for all these kids out there. But I don't want them to become copies of me. I want you right, to exactly, be. Yeah. I want you to become yourself. Mm -hmm. I can help along find the way. Thing, but find your thing. Find your funk and let your freak flag exactly. fly, Mama. If you're like, oh, I hate makeup. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to know that you've actually inspired so many people, like from such a young age, being on YouTube, you've now got the amazing Nimya brand. Like, how does it feel like, oh, there's these little kids out there like, I can do that too, mama. I love that. Mm. I'm, and it's so, every day, it's so surreal to me. And I, I think what gets me most is the parents, the parents that send yeah. me the messages and go, you changed my oh, kid. I love that. And, and I cry almost every single time. Mm. And they're like, thanks to you, my kid, is not afraid anymore. And I know things feel and look kind of dark right now, but when you really zoom in, we've made so many great steps. Absolutely. Um, we are celebrating queer people, which is so right. Mm -hmm. And I like to focus on the positive, but wherever you have the chance, I always feel like if you have the platform, use it for the good. I just think it's so amazing to see you stitch other trans makeup artists. Yes. Yeah. It always yes. makes me smile so yeah. much because there was once upon a time when there was only like, you know, two or three girls in the game in any given industry. Nikki Tutorials. Miss Tutorials, mm -hmm. if you're nasty. It's time to gaze into our crystal ball Ooh. because we want to know what is the future of queer and trans representation. I feel like we need to get louder. I feel like we need to get brighter, sparklier, and we need to get more out there. Yes. The fact that I was able to be a host for the Eurovision Song Contest, <gasps> please don't oh. let me be the last one. No. Please let there be queer representation yeah. in major events like that every year, every day, mm -hmm. because we matter and we're here to stay. Yes. Love that. What I hate the most is People tell me I'm passing, which I know I'm very fortunate because I had a mom that was very supportive of me. I could start very early on in my life, but can we please, for the love of God, mm -hmm. stop with the hate to queer people, trans people that started later on in their journey. Exactly, if, Amen. if their voice is lower, their voice is lower, so, so what? It's never too soon or too late to be yourself. Amen, sister. What is the future? <laughs> That's a great oh, question, Monroe. <laughs> The time has come to put Kelly von der Fee in what we call the legendary giant book, The Queer Epiphanies, are immortalized in for always. Or the LGBTQIA. For short. Now, this is a very prestigious occasion. Care to say a few words? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> thank you, Kelly, for being my queer epiphany. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. And thank you for being my trailblazer. And to anyone who's watching out there, be an ally. Be as loud, be as proud as you can be, and help fight for us. Help defend us. Let your voices be heard and make them loud and clear, honey. Oh. Thank you. Fits right in. Mm. One for the books. Definitely. Bye, Barbie. <laughs> Nikki, before you go, babes, oh. we want to give you a little something, something to send you on your way. Oh. It's our brand new Queer Epiphany t shirt. Oh. Then you just left, we just had a maid. She is st stunning. Right? I also have a gift for you. <gasps> yeah, it might have cost a little bit more, but. Oh. Yeah. oh. We'll get, we'll get another oh, thing. Nice little trade. Gorgeous. Yes. Oh. Isn't she cool? Oh, the air feels expensive. Ooh, expensive air. Oh, eh? Yeah, you know what doesn't feel expensive? Oh. <laughs> it might look more expensive billowing in the wind. Go oh, for it. Hold on, mm. hold on. Oh, you feel that? You see that? Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, oh. Nikki, for sitting down with us. It's been an absolute pleasure, baby. Thanks for it's having so good me. To see you. Do you still feel your legs? Just about, mm. just about, we're here. The circulation is off. Out of the nation. Two <laughs> legs, my love. Yes, Two legs. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and if anyone out there needs any more information about what we've discussed or any help at all and support, check out the resources on screen right now. Mm -hmm. And you might as well like and subscribe too. 
Ta-ta.